Hey there. So you want to add a background color to your text inside your funnels. In Gmail, in Google Docs, and in many places, we do that by highlighting the text, clicking on the highlight color icon, and selecting the color. So how do you do that in ConvertTree? Well, this isn't a feature we have yet. It's actually in our backlog, and we obviously don't know when it'll make it to the app. So for now, I'm going to show you a way around it. In this tutorial, I'll also show you a hack that will change your life. So pay attention. You're going to, you're going to like this. I opened up my dummy page. This is a service that I used to, <laughs> I used to fantasize about, but I have a cat now, so don't really need it anymore. First thing to know is that if you want to highlight a bunch of text like this, simply select the element, the text box, and open up your element properties panel over on to the right, the column, select background, and change the color. But if you want to get more sophisticated and highlight certain certain uh, words then that's another process we have here commitment problems rent a cat i'm going to separate that we're only going to highlight these two words ready so how do we do it we create panels that's right go over to the left side and select panels click that and you'll have a panel i'm going to drag this panel over to my, my first word, commitment, and I'm going to adjust the height. Once you have your height, drag that over, over above the word and adjust it. Next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna change the color. Over on the element properties column, select background, and here's your hack. You ready? Right now it's in gray. The color is gray, but I don't feel like opening the color picker and doing this thing. You know, I just want a basic yellow color. So what do you do? I'm going to type it in. Done. If it's a basic color, like green, yellow, pink, then Convertry will pick it up. My favorite one is transparent because I use those a lot to build funnels. You like it? Great, give it a thumbs up somewhere. I'm going to choose yellow. <laughs> All right. Next thing that you'll do is you want to clone that because you want to keep the height the same. Clone and adjust. Okay, that looks good. Final step is I'm going, no, the penultimate step. So I'm gonna drag these over the words and I'm gonna send them to back. Go over to your menu bar and select the icon, send backward. And again, send backward. And that's it. If you want to highlight even smaller text, you can definitely do that. You can make these panels really thin. I'm gonna change the background color to pink. And I'm gonna make it really small. Cover that. If you wanna get really specific, simply head on over to the element properties column and select positioning. Select positioning and adjust the height. You see that? It's 26, I'm gonna make it to five. And that's it. Hope that helps.